Hello guys, it's Vlogs with Sports, and this is North Carolina Charlie Wood video. It is Feb. I mean, February, September twenty fourth, twenty seventeen. It's a Sunday. It's about mm, it's about seven thirty. So this might go up around eight thirty. It takes about an hour for this thing to upload. But we got we got we got two things to look at here. Well, I think we're talking about Hurricane Maria, or I think that's how you say it. Yeah, Hurricane Maria, which might be, which will be affecting our coast, and maybe giving us some rain in the Triad. We're talking about Hurricane Maria, the track, and the fets, and we also be talking. We're also be talking about our long range for the month of October. We're talking about long range with the CFS model because the CFS model is the only model that goes long range, like really far. So we're gonna go long range. So. Get ready. You ready to? We're gonna look at what October just a general pattern. And so let's go. All right. So Maria, right now it was right here, that white dot. The forecast track is just pushed to the center of the cone takes it something like that. But you can never trust the center of the cone. It could go up this way or it could go all the way out here. The, the more likely track is actually more this way. It used to, it was still going out that way towards Bermuda. But now it hasn't gone more towards us, which is concerning. I'll, I'm going to show you. This is a um, tropical storm winds, most likely for tropical storm winds. Our Cape Patterns is under 80%, and the, the rest of the Capes are under 70%. You need to try it, we got a 5% right now. Just a central track. If it takes a west, more western left track, ours could be up to 15%, like Raleigh. Um, so yeah, here's the, um, the cone. It's right here right now. It's a 5 p.m., 2 p.m., 2 a.m., 2 p.m., 2 p.m. Wednesday, 2 p.m. Thursday, and 2 p.m. Friday. And it could go this way, or it could go that way. Don't follow the actual like straight line. It, I look at the whole cone in general because it could go up towards us and then come out, or it could go something like this, or it could take the central track. But the most likely track is either the central track or the left track towards us. And see, there's the lines. See if we can show you somewhere else. Um, but yeah, it is. If you live on our, on the coast, right here with the yellow, be prepared for storm surge winds up to thirty nine plus, and maybe even hurricane strength winds up to seventy five. Thirty nine to seventy five winds. Be prepared. Um, just make sure you have a survival plan and prepare for a um, storm surge again and a lot of and possibly a lot of flooding if it takes more wet left track. There could be a lot of flooding rains. All right, now we got that out of the way. I want to show y'all a quick model, the CFS model. Has it? It has it gone taking the right track? You see. More of the right track and see if it. This is one of the models that has it going to the right, saying way off our coast, just giving some storm surge. But then it wants to bring another storm, which you might have to watch. On what? Where is this? 10 11th, which is way too far out to tell, but it's just something to watch. October 11th. But anyway. We're, now we're now that we got Hurricane Mar Maria out of the way, we're going to be looking at temperatures for uh, the um October. So I'm going to skip to one of the first October Sunday next week. There we go. So right now it's forecasting lower 60s, mostly high, except for the northeast region. 
again, highs about the, in the lower se upper 60s, lower 70s, and lows around the upper like 60 to upper 50s. But then we get a little cool off, and it could be in the 30s by the 6th Friday. We get like a little trough change, and it has it going something like this. And that means we could see our first possible freeze is way early. We could see our possible first freeze on that time. And then the trough is still hanging around, but it starts to weaken again. And it, say it goes back to that normal pattern for the next couple days. But it's starting to get cooler. It's starting to get 40s and for the average lows. Again, same kind of pattern. Cooler highs run the sit upper 60, about mid 60s, and lows in the lower 40s. This is 10 19th. I don't really see any pattern change from this. Not really. And that's as far as it goes out, I think. And it goes up to the 26th, Thursday. And it hasn't been about. So overall, the pattern overall for October right now is looking like 60s for highs and 40s and up mid, mid 40s for lows and possibly even some upper 30s. And possibility of our first frost. So yeah. Yeah, that's basically it. North Carolina Travel Vivia. And I'll just give y'all one more look at the track for Hurricane Maria. Hit the like button, subscribe, um, keep God in the morning life, and I'll see y'all guys later. Peace.